So we're going to talk about the difference between sport and self-defense in jiu-jitsu. And to make an example of that, we're going to talk about the side control, bottom side control specifically, and how those two philosophies are conflicting, even though it's a fundamental position in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. A lot of people talk about sport is not self defense, people don't bear in bolo and stuff in the street, but even a fundamental position like this, if you think about self defense versus sport, they're two conflicting philosophies, right? Sport, I need to create space and get my knee through. Self-defense, I need to keep him tight to me, and I actually need this hand cupping his bicep. The reason for that is that prevents that punch, that hook that he has. Look, if he throws a punch here and I'm just holding that, I'm going to eat shots to the face. So if I just do this here, and also here I'm going to turn his neck and make him look this way. The reason for that is it's going to be hard for him to posture up from here. So now if he starts trying to posture up, it's exactly like in the closed guard. I want to make him feel like he needs to get out of this lock. Even though I'm on the bottom, he should feel like he needs to get out of here, he's kind of stuck, right? So when he forcibly postures up from here, boom, now I create space and I make distance, get my feet in between us and I can start kicking and stuff like that. But that only happens when I do my bottom side control for self-defense, not for sport here. Because so if I do this and he gets, he gets to dictate when he postures up, he has so many options here. He went to Kesa, he throws the elbow. Now I'm trying to fight like this and do all that. He gets his submissions and everything from there. So look, I need to control his head. Even turning his head here, just like a cross face from the top side position, I need to make him uncomfortable here. I need to control this arm optimally because me putting my arm here, tucking my elbow to my chest here, that's gonna prevent him from pulling his arm out. Now he's stuck to me. And now I get to dictate when I let go because he's gonna wanna get out of here. He's gonna posture up. Oh, when he does that, I shove him away, get my knee through immediately.